I'm Anil Kumar and in this series I'm sharing with you questions from previous test papers of competitive exams. I'd like you to go through these questions and their solutions to understand this strategy so that you can perform better. Here is a very interesting question which is seen in almost all kinds of competitive exams. It is on percent. So it's a commonly dealt topic which every student may come across. The question here is, Mike bought two books. He paid full price for a $1.33 book and he received 50% off the full price of a second book. In total, he saved 20% on his purchase. In dollars, how much did he save? That's the question for you. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestion. Now, I'll, go, I'll walk you through a process which will help you to understand solve such questions. That is very important rather than just giving you a solution. So what we're talking about in this particular case is that Mike bought two books basically, one at cost, the other one at 50% discount, right? So let's write down the cost of the books and what Mike paid. So that is how you should kind of analyze it. So the cost of the book is $33. That's the first book and he paid the full price. That is, he paid $33. However, on the second book, whose cost is not known to us, we'll say X dollars, right? And he paid 50%. When we say 50% of the full price, that means he paid 50%, right? 50% means half of this. Half in decimals could be written as 0 0.5, right? You could write half in fractions also, 1 over 2 of x. So this much he paid. Now, in total, he saved 20% on his purchase. So this is the purchase, right? So let's write down, what is his purchase? And what is total paid? Correct? So in this case, if you add these two, you get purchase, which is X plus $33. And he paid half of X plus $33. And we are talking about savings, right? So, so let's also figure out what is saving. So how much did he save? That is the difference of the two, right? So save is what he was supposed to purchase for and take away what he paid, right? So purchase, take away paid. Is that okay? Total paid, okay. So in this particular case, savings are 50% of this amount, correct? Or you could actually calculate. So it is x plus 33 take away half of x which is 0.5 x plus 33 right and this is equals to half of the purchase price of the second book right which is 0 0.5 x right so that is what is saving and now let's read the next statement in total he saved 20 percent on his purchase now, what does that mean? 20% on his purchase. Let's write this statement. 20% on purchase is what he saved is equal to save. Is that okay? So that is how this statement literally translates to. So 20% 20 is 20 over 100, right? So, so we can write this as, we'll write 20% as 20 over 100 on multiplication purchase total purchase is this much is it okay this is your purchase on x plus 33 and saving is that much is half of or 0 0.5 of x does it make sense to you so that is how you get an equation to solve and this equation you'll find x right and to get in dollars, how much did he save? Remember, you multiply that with 
this amount to get total savings. Is it okay? Right. So let's move on. So that is 0 0.2. It's a good idea to convert to decimals. Plus 33 equals to 0 0.5x. Open the bracket 0.2x plus 6.6 .6 when you multiply this one decimal place. You get 0.5x. Bring 0.2 to the right side. You get 0.5x. Take away 0.2x which is 0.3x is it okay and 6.6 .6. to get the value of x we need to divide this by 0.3 right so you can use the calculator right in test there's no harm since mistakes can be done in dividing decimal numbers right okay so we get 22 so that is the value of x now the question here is, let's read it once again. It's important to understand such questions. In dollars, how much did he save? So we don't want the cost of the book. X is the cost of the book. We want total saving. Do you understand? In dollars, total saving, right? So even at this stage, you can perform or you can do a mistake, right? So total saving is half of this price is it okay is half of 22 so that is in dollars 11 dollars correct so that is the saving which mike did on this particular purchase i'm anil kumar and i hope these steps help you to understand the process you can always share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best